he always knew, he always said, he never lost faith, you know, he had so much faith in that horse. At Aintree, you see him coming to two out and you think, God, he's going to do it. Here's the last, Lawler pricks his ears, he comes up well, he now lands three lengths clear of bedrock. You just, just wish he was that, you know, it, that was his, that was his, you know, that was for him, you know, that was his day. And An emotional day as Lawler takes the great one, Bedway top novices hurdle and wins again at Aintree. So I had a little bit of help, I think, because we're up there. <laughs> It's just gutting that he just couldn't wait for it because he'd have been so, so proud. Um, this was a really, really special course for me and Richard and we had some of our best days here, so. After the Betfair, um, Leilor, um, he was a little disappointing and it was really a turning point for us to have to, you know, get everything together to, if we were going to do it properly. Um, it was much easier for me to have everyone in one place and be somewhere that I could work from comfortably. Leila in here, um, very special to us, is our pride and joy. He's lovely, he's very kind, um, he's brilliant with my daughter, um, Bella, he, he loves her, he's just very easy to deal with really. Yeah, he's an absolute gentleman of a horse to work with. As you can see, he's really laid back, um, just takes everything in. Yeah, he's a lovely horse to be around and have the pleasure to work with. He's a horse that gets in a lovely rhythm over, over obstacles. Um, again, he was great at Aintree when he ran over hurdles, and today he's, he's very much similar over fences. He's jumped them once before, and to have any grade one hurdle going chasing is, is very exciting. And yeah, ho hopefully he can put his stamp on, you know, on, on some of the nice races again, especially towards the end of the season. But just having those horses to look forward to at the start of the season is, is what we're all uh, we're all looking for. I was very friendly with Jim Colotti. I said to Jim one day. I suppose horses are a bit like professional sportsmen, only 5% rise to the top. Well, he said, you're right, but he said, with horses, it's 1%. There's no answer to that. It's the best horse I've ever had. And I've had some nice horses. He'd have been so, so proud. When we started, it was all, that was, that was what we wanted. Great, you want grade one horses, you want good horses, and, and for us, it's, it's like a lottery. You know, we're a little yard in Devon, and we don't have access to the budgets that some of these big trainers do, you know, so it really is lottery ticket stuff for us to get a horse like him. If there was anything I think Richard could have done, it would be to make sure this horse um, continue, you know, showed what he was, and, and it would have been a, a big proud moment for him, you know, um, he has always maintained that it's the best horse we've ever had. Enormously proud of Kaylee. Like there are very few people who would be as tough as she is. That doesn't mean that she doesn't feel it. And I think one of the sad things is this is far from over. You know, we've got Bella. She's only three. So Richard will always be a, a part of everything we do and, and a part of us. And he achieved amazing things. And Layla is a massive part of that and we can't wait to see him continue to, to live up to that um, and Kaylee will do a great job in continuing his work. After January is a real focus point for everyone and we've always known that we've had something special but you know he always pulls it out of the bag for you you know and he's he's produced the, the most emotional days for our team and um, you know I think everyone's looking forward to getting him out this year. 
hopefully this time, you know, it's a, it's, it's for us now. You know, it's, you know, as a team, we, we've got to go forward.